this video, we are going to solve for x when we are given 9 power x plus 9. To do that, first of all, you write 9 in, in x factor. 9 can be written as 3 times 3, which is the same as 3 squared. So you shall make use of this factor that 9 is the same as uh, 3 times 3, which is the same as 3 squared. So we substitute 3 squared in each of these cases there. So substituting, uh, that is what we obtain. The next thing, we make use of the laws of indices, which tells us that... Uh, so we shall make use of this law, which tells us that if you have a power n in bracket m, is the same as a power n m. That is what we shall do here in the next step. To obtain... So this is what we shall obtain, 3 power 2x plus 3 power 2x plus 3 power 2x is equal to 3 squared. Now, on the left-hand side, you can clearly see that we can factor 3 power 2x so that we will be left with. So factoring here, we shall be left with 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 squared. Clearly, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So, uh, this will be 3 power 2x multiplied by 3, 3 power 1. This is the same as 3 power 1. Then, we make use of this law of indices, which tells us that if you have a, a multiplied a power n times a power m is the same as, when the basis are equal, you want the index. Our first index is n, and our second index is m. So, in this case, our first index is 2x and our second index is 1. So, adding here, we shall have 3 power 2x plus 1 is equal to uh, 3 squared. In this case, you equate the index. When the basis are equal, you equate the index. So, equating the, the index, we obtain 2x plus 1 is equal to 2. Then, from there, we collect the like term together so that we shall have 2x is equal to 2 minus 1. 2x is equal to 1. x is equal to half. So before we wind up, we want to check whether our working is correct. So where you have x here, we substitute it with the half so that we obtain. So substituting everything with the half, that is what we have. Power half is the same as square root. So, square root of 9 will be 3. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 9 is 3. And square root of 9 is 3. So, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. Meaning that x is equal to half is our solution. So, thanks so much for taking your time to study with me this nice equation. Uh, for more such learning, tune on to my YouTube channel so that you may learn together. Remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a single video which I upload for us every day. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember you can share it with the other mathematicians uh, so that we may learn together. In the case of any question, let me know so that I may know how I can improve this presentation. Bye bye for now. See you in the next presentation.